All right, <clears throat> so what I want to talk about first is the um, the importing of video in Lightroom 3. Uh, this used to be the biggest pain for me because I would have a compact flash card with my camera that has video files and has image files. And I used to have to do two separate imports. Lightroom could, no, could not uh, import video and now it can. So I can download all files off my memory stick at the same time. They'll go into my catalog as I see fit, you know, by date or type or whatever. And it's just a huge time saver and organizational uh, helper. <laughs> if that makes any sense. It allows me to organize my media better by importing at the same time, and it saves me time by importing at the same time. So. Uh, it imports directly from the file that my camera produces, which is the MOV file, and uh, you have the, the files uh, in your uh, image catalog here. You click on the icon and it'll go down and it will launch the video of your default player. You could just, I have it as QuickTime now, it could be VLC, Windows Media Player. Hey Juan, I wanted to do a quick macro. Whatever you need to do. You can uh, customize, or add-on metadata for the video. So I'm gonna make this rating of three, this this Kershaw Blur video. I can add on more uh, keywords to it. Let's say this one was done in, I forget, but uh, let's say I did it in uh, 2010. Um, what else could I say? I could put out some BDC knife. It's uh, assisted opener so add on metadata and you can add on a whole lot more here so just have it be part of your catalog is just a amazing thing here you cannot edit the video files at all um, which is fine you know having them in there and being able to manage them is just fine by me for now um, so that's kind of the video import, which uh, again, I think that is just an amazing feature.